Good morning and welcome to Sunday School here at Advent Lutheran Church. My name is Bryant and I am the Children, Youth, and Family Minister here at Advent. We're so glad you're joining us today. Today, March 21st, 2021, is the fifth Sunday in the season of Lent. We have already gone five weeks into this season. Well, we're about to go into our fifth week. Let's, let's make sure everything is clear. We're about to start our fifth week of the season of Lent, and this is the fifth Sunday in that season. Today, we will be looking at a story out of the Gospel of John chapter 12. And as our Spark Story Bible puts it, the story is about how to serve and follow. We will be hearing from Teacher Diane, who has our story today, as well as from our new friend clone, Gardening Clone. Yeah, Gardening Clone. He'll be coming to us live from one of our gardens, actually our home garden, to tell us all about the joy of seeds and growing plants. We will also be hearing, as always, from Arts and Crafts Clone and just enjoying our time together. But with all that said, we are going to start today off by hearing today's story. Now, if you have a Spark Story Bible at home, oh, let me get mine. Here we go. You will find today's story on page 446. If you don't have a Spark Story Bible, but you want to hear the words as they are written in your own Bibles at home with your family, you can turn to John chapter 12, verses 20 through 33. This is a wonderful, short little story, at least for us reading it here in the Spark Story Bible. It's, uh, it's not too long if you're actually reading it from the Bible either. But if you would like, you can take this moment and pause to read it in person, or let's go ahead and send it over to Teacher Diane, who's going to read today's story, help us to find squiggles, and probably has a question for us. Hi, everyone. Diane here, and I'll be reading this week's story for Sunday School. Um, our reading this week comes from the book of John, chapter 12, verses 20 through 33. And I'll be reading from the Spark Story Bible. And as I read, um, be sure to watch out for Squiggles the Caterpillar. Um, he pops up in all of the stories, so see if you can spot where he is this week. Serve and follow. Some people wanted to see Jesus. The disciples showed these people where Jesus was teaching. When a seed is planted in the ground, it dies, so a new plant can grow with many more seeds on it, Jesus said. Why was Jesus talking about seeds? He explained, It's time for God's promise to come true. I will die and come alive again. Many people will serve and follow me. The people asked Jesus how they could serve him. Follow me, said Jesus. I will show you how to help and care for others. Just then, a voice as loud as thunder said, It is time for me to keep my promise. Jesus told the people it was God speaking. God says it's time to follow me. After Jesus finished teaching, some people began serving and helping others. They were following Jesus. All right, so at the end of our story here, we find Squiggles, the caterpillar. There he is. Um, so something else that Squiggles always does in the story is there's always a question at the end from Squiggles. Um, and I wanted to ask this question to you and also to you, Brian. So let me know what you think. So the question from Squiggles is, if Jesus asked you to follow him by helping others, what kinds of things would you do? So what do you think? I thought about this myself and I was thinking that I would like to provide a meal for everyone who's hungry. And that's what I would like to do. What about you, Bryant? 
Thank you, Teacher Diane, for today's story. And what a wonderful question. If Jesus asked you to follow him by helping others, what kinds of things would you do? And I know for myself, one of the things that I do in, in showing and following Jesus is I serve here at Advent Lutheran Church as your children, youth, and family minister. It is truly something that brings me joy each day. But aside from that, I love to work, whether it's at food banks or to serve as we collect food during a lot of our food drive throughs we've had over the last year. I also enjoy helping to teach things like confirmation or even to talk about some of the fun quirks of the church so that we can better understand it, so that we can teach others just how much love that God has for each and every one of us. And also, I love going to camp. Whether I'm camping with youth out just at a campsite or I'm going to a Christian camp all around the country. It is so much fun to experience God in a new and distinct way out in creation. Now, that is all wonderful and good, but you know, I do find it interesting in today's story that Jesus talks about seeds. And you know what? With all this talk about seeds, it's a great time to bring in Garden Clone to tell us all about seeds and what happens with them. Well, hello there, friends. Garden Clone here. Thanks, Brian, for having me on. Now, my cousin Candle Clone, he doesn't know much about growing, but he did tell me about your lesson that you heard today, where Jesus talks about these seeds that come from the stalk of wheat. And as the stalk of wheat dies, these seeds get spread out and grow new wheat. Now, I'm here to tell you all about how those seeds work a little bit, just to give you an idea, but about the different ways that seeds work. For instance, did you know that there are kind of two, at least two different styles of plants for the most part when it comes to planting? One, is called an annual. Now, annuals like wheat or like sunflower seeds. See this little guy? Now this guy has been baked, which means he can't grow anymore. But sunflowers will go ahead and once they flowered and they blossom, they will spread their seeds out because that flower dies and it spreads the seeds so that a new batch can grow. And that is what an annual is. It means that each year you have to replant new seeds or replant new growth so that it can start growing again. Now, the other style of plant that most folks have are things that we call perennials. These type of plants go dormant during the winter seasons or they go dormant in the season when they don't grow. And during that season, they hold and stock up on nutrients so that they can have new growths the next year. Behind me, this is our grape plant. Now, right now, if you look at it, it doesn't look like it's gonna grow. But I tell you, this is just staying dormant until it's ready to grow new crop and give us pounds upon pounds of grapes. <laughs> the other thing that are considered perennials See this little guy right here? He's got green on him already. That is a white raspberry. And in just a couple of months, there will be fruit on this raspberry ready to give us nutrients. So why do I tell you all this? Well, as I said, in today's passage, as Jesus tells us, if we follow him, then we will grow and plant new seed. We become the annual plant that as we go through our lives and we give out new information and show our love, we plant new seeds in others to show that love so that we can continue to grow and grow and build this huge yield of love that continues to be shown to everyone. 
So whether you love flowers or just plants to give you food, know that each one is there, not only to give you nutrients, but to remind you of the love that blossoms in each and every one of us. Bryant, back to you. Thank you, gardening clone. That is a wonderful little glimpse into the world of gardening. I know that our gardeners here, folks like Sandy Barrett, work diligently every year to get our community garden both planted and rooted, but also to grow wonderful, wonderful food that we send over to our local food bank each year. Not only is this a great way to be using God's creation, but it's also serving our neighbors and showing them God's love. Now, as always, we have some wonderful activity and coloring pages for you, and let's send it over to Arts and Crafts Clone to tell us all about the wonders that you'll find on our website. Arts and Crafts Clone? Hello, friends. Thank you, Bryant. Arts and Crafts Clone here with the latest and greatest activity and coloring pages that you can do at home. The first, our coloring page for this week, is this lovely one of all these flowers. And probably there are some flowers missing that you should fill in yourself. But you could go ahead and color this and show off all of the whimsical colors that you would want in your own garden. Now, next, we can go ahead and search through our Bible and learn about all the different ways that Jesus showed service and how we can do, do those in our lives. With this map, you can see all the different places where Jesus served others, and it also gives you where you can find it within the Gospel of John. Now, in each of these bubbles, you can also draw a little picture of how Jesus helped to serve others and just give you a glimpse into some of the service that Jesus performed. Next, if you are into phonics or how to say things phonetically, you can use this page here, the Seed of Faith, to, to use different phonetic phrases and try to figure out what exactly the phrase is saying. And then try it yourself, writing your own phrase, how you think it would look phonetically. Like, hu the her ser serves my me must fa 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 follow me. I don't know, but you can take your chance at it. And finally, before our family page, we have this Jumble Journey. You can take a look at probably the back of your Bible or a parent's Bible, and you can find all of these different places where Jesus had served. Now, you'll notice that each of these cities has their named jumbled. Well, places, I should say. It's not all cities, but their names are jumbled. Take a moment and try to figure out what each of those places are. And finally, as always, you can find our family sheet on there to help give you questions like, how are we like seeds? And how are we different than seeds? I'm sure that Garden Clone probably has a great answer for that. But Bryant, those are our activity and coloring pages as you know, we would love to see those activity and coloring pages, and you can feel free to send them to the church office so that we can post them on our walls. But with all that, Bryant, it's back to you. Thank you, Arts and Crafts Clone. It is always a joy to hear from you and to hear about the great activities, coloring, and family pages you can find on the front page of our website. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our time together today. I know that I always love seeing how many people have engaged and been a part of these videos, and I hope that you enjoy doing some of these activities at home with your families. I cannot wait, and I look forward to the day that we can all be together again and serve and follow God together as one big happy community. 
But until then, we serve in this way that we take care of each other by staying safe at home or staying safe as we do go out in the community, masking up, washing our hands, and showing God's love through these actions. I hope you enjoy your week and always remember that you are called, claimed, and named beloved child of God. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for the examples of Jesus to help us understand how to serve and follow you. Continue to help us love one another. In your name we pray. Amen. Enjoy your week. And we will see you next Sunday on Palm Sunday.